Hello, Steve White, Trek 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, I finally got caught up with um, Superman and Lois. I didn't realise the show had come back on. Um, I missed the first episode, and I saw the other day that episode two was up, and I'm like, oh, when did that happen? I just had no idea. Um, but it was good, because the two episodes worked together really well. They could have been a two-hour season premiere. They could be one movie-length episode. Everything that pretty much comes up in the first episode, well, not everything, but some of the things that come up in the first episode are resolved in the second episode. So it actually was really good to watch them together. Now, um, the, the series season takes up uh, three months after last season. Uh, basically, <sighs> Natalie approached Lois, and Lois said nothing, and just let her walk off and she was kind of uh, upset about that um, and that is sort of torturing her for the first episode and she's um, being difficult and um, putting the rest of the family through um, a lot of grief and not dealing with her issue and eventually when she talked about it it was the fact that she felt nothing when she saw Natalie and she felt like that must have been what her mother felt for her and Lucy when she left and that was messing her up. So she eventually talks to Clark about that and gets that out. And um, she approaches um, Natalie and Henry and um, they actually move into the farmhouse and she comes to, um, Natalie goes to the boys' school because she tried to go to her old school and that didn't work and she wasn't coping with wealth and everything. So I think um, Henry contacted um, Lois, I mean, she wanted to talk to her anyway, but um, they met up in a diner and they talked and then ended up taking them back home. And she cooked breakfast in the morning and didn't know that she was a vegan and things like that, but she's trying to be friends with her. They, she said they had a talk and she explained um, that she, you know, she didn't like how she handled things and they're going to try and be friends. And it, it, it's, it worked out fairly well. Um, I thought it was going to be a bigger, longer sort of situation is sort of going to become an arc or something um and um superman clark is having some problems he's having flashback type visions that he thinks are linked to the um the um kryptonians that were um take, that took him over i can't exactly remember what happened last season um i i, I they did do, you know, last time on Superman and Lois with each episode, but I still don't remember a lot of the things that happened. There was a bit too much happening, I think, at the end of the season. I like that we're at the start of a new season, and they haven't, like, picked up at the same pace or anything like sometimes shows will do, and the, sh the season is sort of, you know, ramping up in its own pace, which is good. Now, um, Lana has been promoting... Uh, Daniel Hart to be the new mayor because we all hate the old mayor and he drops out um, but she was the one basically um, running the campaign he was really just the paper tiger as um, her husband said so he suggests that she actually runs for mayor and she decides to and I think she's got a good shot so that's good now um, Sarah went away to a camp and came back after a month and she was being weird and Jordan didn't know why. He was struggling to work out what he did wrong. He tried to be romantic. It didn't work. And he, she kept not replying and forgetting and they made plans and she forgot and made other plans with Natalie to work on a car that her dad bought her and so forth. And he started to give up. And eventually um, she told him that when she was at camp, she kissed a girl. And he kind of got upset and left. And she was like, you know, Jordan, what? And it's like, give him a minute. Um, she said it didn't mean anything. She doesn't want to have a relationship with the girl. It just happened, so who knows what this means. But um, I don't know if he felt betrayed or he feels insecure because how can he compete with a girl? So that's where they left those two. But um, the first episode, you had no idea what was happening. And at least this episode, you know what the problem is. You know where it's going to go. You don't know how they're going to solve the problem. But at least you, you know, saw what happened. Um, I mean, you know what happened. Now, um, the town has had earthquakes. There was um, something in a mine. Something came through from another dimension or something, I don't know. And it's it was some sort of being, and it was creating the earthquakes. And when it was creating the earthquakes, it was causing um, 
like a lot of pain and the flashbacks and the visions. So it's connected to that interdimensional being. And uh, there were five earthquakes and five, um, um, I don't know what you call what he had, um, episodes. And during one of these, he had trouble resolving um, a problem. And some of the, um, what are they calling them? Some of the, the gifted people, the DOD, was... Um, basically getting them to don the Superman logo and run around trying to save people and except with allegiance to America and of course Superman pledged allegiance to the world so like for example he saved a Korean submarine, a nuclear submarine and returned it to the Koreans and they're like you should have given it to the Americans, you should have been on our side and he's like of course not going to do that and of course this guy's like well if you're not one of us you're against us basically, so you really, you can't come here for help, we can't do anything, um, you're on your own, we won't rescue you again, um, you know, but if you want to come back and join us and play the game and, you know, do what we want, you know, you're happy to come back, he's just really slimy and annoying and I don't want to have to deal with him for the whole season, I'm hoping he gets bumped off early on, but um, I'm imagining he's going to be around for the whole season, um, I really would like someone else to replace him, because yeah, I just, I don't enjoy seeing Clark having to deal with him. Um, now, Clark ended up taking Tao back to his fortress to try and work out what was happening with him. And the um, hologram of his mother came up, um, the one that was not affected by um, what happened last season. And she does work out about the trans transdimensional being and so forth. And um, there was a little bit of resolution there on some level. Now, Tao, actually some of his powers came back and he was playing possum. And he ended up having a fight with Jordan. Jordan nearly um, stopped him. But fortunately, Clark snapped out of his episode quickly enough to put him back in his place and take him back to um, the jail, where obviously he's not going to be let out again because how they couldn't detect that he had his powers back, I mean, he could just lie again, so I guess he'll never get out again. Um, and I think that's it for the two episodes. I, I'm just thinking, I don't think anything else happened. I think I've covered everything. Um... Oh, Lois is having a problem with an old article that um, she used her sister Lucy as a source. It was some sort of cult, and she was exposing him. And supposedly one of the sources, it sounds like Lucy, is actually um, um, taking back her statement in that. So Lois is getting a lot of press, bad press. And of course, um, you know, it looks bad for the magazine, uh, the paper. And yeah, um, I guess we're going to get into... Lucy's business now, they haven't spoken since this expose and the situation because she tried to kill herself because this cult leader, um, I don't know, pressured her into it or talked her into it or made her think it was the only way out or the, the only way or something. It's, it's unclear what exactly happened, but um, someone else wasn't so lucky. Another family lost a family member, so that's what the article was about. And she says she will stand for me. She'll support, you know, she'll, 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 I'm sure what she said was true. But um, I'm not sure she will actually, what she'll actually say, because we haven't talked for years. So I think that's it. Um, it was a good two episodes. I'm really glad to have the show back. I'm enjoying it. Um, there wasn't a single issue with, with, with it. And a lot of the shows that are on at the moment have issues, and it's kind of hard to watch them because you're always criticising them. But there's nothing to criticise this show for. It's just the characters, as we recognise them, um, <laughs> behaving normally as we expect them, and um, just mystery, adventure, fights, action, character moments, just everything what you what you want from a show. And last season was really good, and this season is looking just as good. Um, I'm pretty happy. I think they could have shown these two episodes as uh, like a movie-length episode, but, you know, I think they're only making ten episodes, so I guess they really need to spread them out and get the most out of it. But um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Um... I can't really think of anything else except I did notice actually the only little criticism I probably would give is that um, Superman's uniform is um his outfit always looks a little loose it doesn't it doesn't really seem to fit him sometimes um, and there's a bit too much painted on um, muscle detail and that they could have and I felt the same way with the suit last year I think the only difference they made was I think they added the belt but um so aside from one superficial little criticism um, everything else was pretty much as I was expecting, I was just surprised I didn't hear anything about 
season starting up again and the first episode and I missed the first episode altogether but the good thing about it was watching the two together and having it play like a movie but um, I'm already up to 10 minutes I really need to go um, feel free to share like comment subscribe and let me know what you think of the episodes um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season I'm sure the whole series is going to be good some people were speculating that it would you know change because Supergirl apparently changed after the first year which I still haven't worked out because I've only seen the first year but I'm feeling really good about it and I'm just going to look forward to it and enjoy it. Thanks, bye.